why do you think barbershops in particular are so good at being spaces where people can be so open and familial and to work on their identities together in a, like such a subconscious way? I think there's loads of reasons. The main two for me is that if your barber has a cutthroat razor to your neck, then you have no option but to relax. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you're going to hurt yourself. And if you allow someone to, to, to groom you in that way, you obviously trust them. And I think the next step, especially for black men, where not a lot of, you know, not many black men feel comfortable about talking about their feelings because, you know, society has made it in a way where it's like you can't be sensitive, you can't be emotional. Um, it's a space where you're talking to another man or woman in many cases that, that is it's, it's, it's someone you trust as you said and it's, it's um, you don't feel judged because in most cases your barber is someone that you've known for a long time so my barber I've known him for over 10 years mm. he's seen me grow up from when I was here to how I am now so he knows me a lot better than I realise that he does mm -hmm. it's funny because he'll bring up things from the past about, oh, I remember when you used to do this or do that and it's, yeah. it's, it, just, it just brings it all back but um, yeah, so I think that it, this is someone that you're, you're trusting to make you look better because you want to leave there feeling better about yourself. And if we're talking about historically in terms of like my dad's generation, I'm from Sierra Leone. And when my dad came back, came when my mum and dad came over from Sierra Leone in like the 80s and, and 90s, there wasn't many spaces where they could go and be themselves if it wasn't at their friend's house or my grandma's house or the pub because, you know, pub culture is not really a thing in Africa. Yeah. I don't think, well, where I come from anyway, it's not, especially with my dad being Muslim. But um, the barbershop was that place where you could go and see other men like yourself who had the same experience as you, and there was a shorthand. Mm -hmm. You didn't need to over-explain. People already got it. They understood where you were coming from. And it was a place where they could sit and talk about, you know, past traumas, what they've been through, mm -hmm. um, how to deal with situations that they're going through now, you know, racism, discrimination, all of that in the 80s and 90s, that was going on. And, you know, you, you, apart from all of the serious stuff, you can just sit and banter and talk about the football, talk about mm. politics, talk about the cricket, whatever it is you want to do. Mm -hmm. And these are people that you know understand you. So I think the barbershop is, is a special place for all of that because it allows us to be ourselves unapologetically. We yeah. don't have to put on a filter. We don't have to do any code switching. You can just be yourself and trust that the people around you are going to judge you for what you say. And you can educate yourself in a way where it's not you sitting down and the teachers dictating something to you. It's it's, it's your comrades. It's your your you know it's, it's your peers and your kin and your your you're learning and growing together in a society that might feel alien to you at first. But you know that shop is a safe space for that.